Hello guys, let us go into question number 3 which is taken from statistics 1 Pearson and Excel A level exam. Exam was taken in January 2024. In a 6 form college, each student in year 12 and year 13 is either left handed or right handed. The partially completed tree diagram where P is the probability gives information about the, these students. P is the probability for year 12 students. You can notice that here it is P. You know that overall probability is uh, always 1. If one probability is given, you could find the other one by subtracting it from 1. Complete tree diagram in terms of P will assess me. So P is uh, here probability for year 12 student, uh, students is P. Then P probability for year 13 students will be 1 minus P for sure. Here for year 12 students who are right handed we have to find it left handed are given there 1 over 8 as I told you earlier overall probability is always 1 so if this is 1 over 8 the remaining part will be 7 over 8 so you could write here 7 over 8 same way for year 13 students the students who are left handed they are 1 over 10 the remaining part will be the right handed that will be 9 over 10 so this tree diagram is completed for the next part the probability that a student is left handed is 0 0.11 find the value of p better you complete the sample space here you know sample outcome total outcomes here like here you could write uh, year 12 year 12 with right hand year 12 with left hand okay you could write like this so it is better you write this way so these are the total outcomes for year 13 and right handed you can you could write here year 13 with right hand and year 13 with left hand so these are the total possible outcomes this one these are the total outcomes here so it will uh, help you out to find the required probabilities the probability that student is left handed is 0 0.11 find the value of p now from these outcomes you could find the probabilities for left handed left handers are here this one and this one okay in this sample and this one these are two outcomes that are giving you the probabilities for left handed so you could write here probability for year 12 and left handed you know it will be year 12 and left handed it will be this one and that one so this probability will be p multiply 1 over 8 and for this one probability for year 13 and left handed it will be 1 minus p multiply 1 over 10 so you could add these probabilities to find the probability for left handed for second part you could write like this probability of year 12 with left hand plus probability of year 13 with left hand will be equals to 0 0.11 okay this is a probability for left-handed uh, students so to find this probability you will multiply p with 1 over 8 these two probabilities will be multiplied to find this probability so p multiply 1 over 8 plus for to find this probability probability for year 13 and left-handed you will multiply this probability with 1 over 10 so 1 minus p multiply 1 over 10 will be equals to 0 0.11 now you need to simplify you know this is the denominator you you could get the get rid of the denominator by finding the lcm whenever there is a fraction find the lcm least common multiple for 8 and 10 that is 40 multiply by 40 so you will get uh, rid of the denominator this is the easiest way to solve the fractions so to get rid of this 8 you divide by 40 by 8 you get 5p here plus when you multiply this term with 40 uh, so only it left with 4 so 4 multiply 1 minus p and 40 multiply 0 0.11 give you 4.4 now solve for p 5p plus 4 minus 4p equals 4.4 5p minus 4p is p and bring this 4 to the other side 
So it will be 4.4 minus 4. And to get the answer as 0 0.4. And uh, you can write in fraction form 4 over 10 that is equals to 2 over 5. You, can, you could get, the, get rid of the decimal by dividing it by 10. Simplifying you will get 2 over 5. So this is the answer for second part. Now for third part find the probability that the student selected at random is in year 12 and left handed. Year 12 and in left handed. Uh, let's choose the outcome. Year 12 and left handed. Year 12 and left handed is, uh, is here. This one. Year 12 with left handed. So you need to find this probability. This one. Okay. Only. For second part. probability for year 12 with the left handed will be equals to year 12 with left hand you will multiply these two probabilities we already got the answer for p that is 2 over 5 so you will multiply 2 over 5 by 1 over 8 2 over 5 multiply 1 over 8 simplifying you could you will get the answer for it and that is equals to 1 over 20 so this is the answer for uh, C actually in fact this one is C so part C is done for the next part given that a student is right-handed find the probability that the student is in year 12 whenever in the question uh, question starts from uh, with given that that question is taken from con conditional probability that question is taken from conditional probability. Uh, let me tell you the formula for conditional probability that is equals to A given that B is always equals to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of P. This is the formula by the way. Okay. The standard formula for conditional probability. But here given that student is right handed. Now there are two categories of students. Uh, students with left handed. Uh, and students uh, with right handed students with the left handed probability is here 0 0.11 so probability of student uh, with right handed will be we will subtract this probability from 1 to get the probability for right handed so uh, here b is the condition given that after given that that will be the condition so you need to find the probability from the right handed students only so right handed students are here and this one only okay these are two right-handed students category. This one, these are two outcomes for right-handed students. They, they will be from year 12 and they will be from year 13. For this part, we have to find probability of year 12 students that students selected is from year 12 given that it is right-handed. So as per formula of conditional probability, we can write, uh, write like this. Probability of year 12 intersection with the right-handed students and uh, probability of right-handed student. So probability of left-handed students is already given that is equals to 0 0.11. You can find probability of right-handed student by subtracting this probability from uh, 1. So probability of right-handed student will be 1 minus 0 0.11. And our answer will be 89 over 100 in the fraction form. You can write like this. So this is the answer for probability for right-handed. Year 12 is here only. So you will multiply this probability with uh, this one, that's it, in the numerator. Therefore, we can write like probability of year 12 students, given that it is uh, from right handed, it is equals to P multiply P, we already found that is 2 over 5, multiply uh, this probability right handed 7 over 8 and divide by probability for right handed uh, student that is 89 over 100. Now you can write like this 2 multi plus 7 or you can simplify better you divide it so it will be 7 over 20 divide by 89 over 100 you can simplify now without using calculator even though you could find it otherwise you put these values in your calculator calculator and get your answer directly 
so it will be 100 over 89 so cancelled out it will be 5 5 multi plus 7 35 over 89 so this is the answer for uh, for the last part of this question part d is done and question number three is done uh, here for the last part there is another way of uh, solving this let me tell you that method as well uh, before going to the next question the other way you can write like this probability of e at 12 given that it is taken from right hand so e at 12 probability we already found that is uh, 2 over 5 multi plus 7 over 8 2 over 5 multi plus 7 over 8 divided by uh, the right handed the right hands are these two uh, this and that okay uh, you can multiply 2 over 5 with 7 over 8 then plus uh, we already found this one that is uh, th because it is 2 over 5 so this will be 3 over 5 for sure so 3 over 5 will multiply by 9 over 10 okay you have to divide uh, by these two probabilities and add them actually uh, you could write like this way no problem probability of uh, year 12 and right handed plus probability of year 13 with right handed okay you have to divide so right handed uh, probability for the right handed could be found by adding these two probabilities so this will be for sure like we did before it will be 7 over 20 and uh, probability of year 12 multi uh, year 12 multiply r year 12 and right handed will be 2 over 5 multiply 7 over 8 2 over 5 multiply 7 over 8 plus you have to uh, find this probability as well so 3 over 5 will multiply by this probability 3 over 5 multiply 9 over 10 now if you solve this uh, you will get the same answer for sure okay simplify and use a calculator to get this answer so this could be the other way for uh, solving the last part if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you